Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Dainese Carve Master 3 Gore-Tex jacket. The Carve Master series has been hugely popular for Dainese and now we're onto the third generation of their waterproof sports touring textile jacket. It carries on the flexible lightweight tradition of the models before, but with some considered upgrades in key areas. The main outer shell is still made from Dainese's Mugello material, which is a nylon with elastomeric properties that makes it just that little bit more flexible. That covers the bulk of the outer with some reinforcements that are made from Dainese's D-Stone fabric, which you'll find at the elbows and also at the shoulders where it covers a hard insert to give some extra impact protection. Dainese's D-Stone material is their own material that's made from a tough nylon with a 3D weave. Dainese say it takes eight seconds to wear through on the abrasion test from the older, tougher CE standard. And if that's the case, then it's on the same sort of level as a reasonably decent leather. The outer is backed up by the tried and trusted Gore-Tex membrane, which in this jacket takes the form of a drop liner. So that means it's fixed loosely inside the jacket and it's there to protect your body against any water that gets past the outer shell. There is a water resistant treatment on the outer shell to at least delay any water ingress and that may need reapplying after some time, after some use, but it's easy to do that and there are a variety of different sprays on the market that will do that job. This jacket has plenty of vents. You get two on the chest, you get one on each bicep, one on each side of the torso as well. In one of their own videos, Dainese calls this direct body ventilation, but it doesn't meet my definition of direct body as there's still a Gore-Tex membrane behind those vents that won't let air through. So opening the vent will cool the interior down in general, but it won't give that feeling of a cooling breeze coming directly through to the body. The jacket fastens up the middle with a zip and there's a storm flap that secures over the top with five press studs. One of the criticisms of the model before this jacket, the Carve Master 2, was the lack of loops on the zip pullers, which should make it easier to catch hold of them while wearing gloves. That's not something Dainese's addressed with the new model, as there are still no loops on the zip pullers. You do get pullers on the vents, but not on the main fastener. Once the jacket's done up, the collar fastens over with a large Velcro panel, and there's a press stud on the end that lets you secure it against here to keep it open if that's what you prefer. The cuffs secure with a zip and Velcro, and there's loads of room to fit a glove under there. If you prefer to ride with gloves over the top, then you'll probably have difficulty. Again, that was a criticism of the old Carve Master 2 as well. For what it's worth, I always ride with gloves on the inside of a textile jacket. It means that water that runs down the sleeve goes over the top of the gloves rather than only into the top of them. Fit adjustment on this jacket comes from belts at the waist, poppers on the upper arms, and there's a drawstring cord at the bottom hem to help seal against wind and rain. You get three external pockets on this jacket. There are two on the front and there's one at the lower back. Those two front pockets are both waterproof. Now, some owners of the Carve Master 2 found the pockets a bit of a fiddle to use. We've got the same design on this jacket and I can see what they mean as the sealed zip behind here is a little bit stiff to operate and then you have to fold this top down and fold it over with Velcro. But something like that is kind of the price you have to pay for having waterproof pockets. Personally, I'd rather deal with that and still have dry stuff at the end of the ride. Moving to the inside of the jacket, there's a removable thermal liner, which is a full sleeve liner with a pocket in it. Most of my riding in this jacket was at the height of summer, so the last thing I really needed was a thermal liner inside. But then I did zip it back in for the ride home after one of our bike nights here at Sports Bike Shop. It takes me about an hour to get home. The temperature was around 15 degrees Celsius. I only had a t-shirt underneath this jacket and with the thermal liner in, it kept me comfortably warm for the duration of that ride. I also fitted the removable quilted collar that Dainese provide and I found that helped. It meant I could ride home without having a separate neck warmer and could still stay nice and warm. Behind the thermal liner, you get a Gore-Tex membrane, as we've discussed, and there are also pockets for the armor. The Carve Master 3 comes with shoulder and elbow armor fitted. It's Dainese's Pro Armor that's soft, it's well ventilated, and it meets the higher level two of the CE impact protection standard. There isn't a back protector as standard, but there is a pocket, and you can put a Dainese G1 or G2 protector in there, which are available separately. You can also add chest protection if you like, as there are pockets for Dainese's inserts to slot inside. There are no dedicated pockets on the inside of the main shell. You could use the chest armor pockets to stash some stuff in there if you want, as long as you didn't want to put armor in there. And there's also that pocket in the thermal liner. But if you ride with the thermal out and some chest armor in, then you won't have any internal pockets. The label on the inside of the jacket shows the overall CE protection rating at single A, which is the most basic level within the most recent standard. Finally, you get a connection zip to attach to Dainese trousers. There are matching Carve Master 3 Gore-Tex trousers. If you match them to this jacket, then you're nudged over the thousand pound mark for the combination. 
I spent a couple of hundred miles on the road in this jacket and I think it's versatile, it's flexible and it's comfortable. I think it's best suited to riders who will ride in a little bit of everything in terms of weather. A jacket with a removable membrane would be better for riders who expect to ride in the really hot days a lot and a laminated membrane would be better for those who expect to be out in the rain all the time. But for those who won't see so much in the way of those extremes, this is a typically classy jacket from Dineasy. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Dineasy Carvemaster 3 Gore-Tex jacket, but if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.